Hello everybody and welcome back to Boosters Unboxes. Today we're going to have a look at more Metabots cards. That's right. Last time I opened up four booster boxes. <laughs> oh boy. But uh, today a little different. We're going to have a look at the original Japanese cards from the OCG. So Metabots, not Metabots, Metabots. Um, first of all, a couple of things I want to say. The original two sets, the first two sets from the OCG are what we got to see here in the West. So the OCG cards, they consist of two sets, and from those two sets, we got 69 cards translated in English, and we got to see them here in the rest. So, there will be more cards here, I think there's like, uh, how many are there? 150, and then another 50 character cards, so 200 in total, we only saw 69 of them. Now. Maybe you've already figured out, but uh, this card here, the set starts with number 4. That is because this is Series 2. I don't have Series 1 yet, hopefully. Um, so, But this one should be complete. This one should be complete. And hopefully one day I will be able to show you Series 1. But uh, now I have been translating for the past couple of days, or trying to find a translation for all these cards, so I was able to provide to you a English name as well. So. Uh, Number four is Fly Falcon, which we saw here, and I don't believe that we actually got to see this card in English. Um, so it's pretty damn cool. So, also, the back of these cards are a little different as well, but there it says Madarot Official Card Game. So, there's the Japanese logo as well. So, yeah. Now we've got number six, which is Old Wise. So, this is like an all, uh, owl Madarot. Pretty cool. Also, something interesting about the set is that. Um, the species are kind of together, so these are all like flying metabots, and uh, they kind of put them together, which is pretty damn neat in my opinion. Now, for some cards, I won't have a translation, so... Uh, this one here, however, is semi cicade if I pronounce it correctly. I also put a name in the bottom here, so if anyone who does speak Japanese is able to maybe correct me, who knows. Always welcome. Next up, we already jumped to number 15 straight away, so quite a difference there. Got Chair Pixie. Then we have number 16 Bloodstock, which is like a uh, mosquito metabot. Pretty cool though. Number 17 is White Grouse. Like uh, some sort of duck kind of thing. I don't know what it is actually. Number 20, Niu Sakura Chan. So this is like a cheerleader. This is uh, <laughs> pretty funny. Pretty fun. It's like a cheerleader with a bell. Hmm. Yeah, oh well. Moving on, we've got Fly Squire. Some more flying metabots. Uh, some of them are pretty damn cool. And that brings us to the first hollow. Look at this one. Ooh, look at the detail. Still in mint condition, all of these, so I'm very impressed with this. Limbo Mambo. <laughs> uh, not quite sure what this is supposed to be, but here you go. Cool car. Number 27, Changeling. Don't get confused with the, the Pokemon. This is like. Yeah, some of them I don't really have an explanation what they're supposed to be, but you know, this is like some sort of drill almost. Uh, maybe something to do with that. No clue, no clue. Number 32, which is a very strange looking one, and this is Cry Banshee. So it's supposed to be like a Banshee, so I guess he's got some, you know, shout attacks or something, who knows. And then someone's all-time favorite look at this one this is so damn cool this is god emperor now here in the west we know this one as mega emperor but in japan this is actually called the god emperor so but look at that one he looks absolutely absolutely stunning beautiful card and i so wish we had these in the west as well this is such a cool card moving on to number 35 is naturally which is like I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what it is. <laughs> Number 36 is tr Trello Bite. Trello Bite? Yeah. Something like that. I don't know. Moving on to Grancia. And then we've got Hell Cerberus, which I think is a pretty cool one. Got like a, uh, well, a Cerberus, obviously. It says so in the name. And moving on to Danen. So, it's like. Like a, a lobster, I guess? Maybe? Something like that. It's like some sort of sea creature with six legs here at the bottom and two more. And, yeah. Anyway, Shiramen. 
again, some sort of beetle or crap kind of thing, I guess. Uh, again, another, that's what I mean. They're all like insects or some sort of crap-related insects or beetles or whatever. And they are all stacked up together, which I think is pretty damn neat. Now this is number 45, and that's a gnomon. So they all start end with in, so it got something to do with that, I guess. Um, still more beetles. This is like a like a grasshopper phase or something almost. Hmm. Could be something like that. This oh, rain cricket. It's a cricket actually. Look at that. There you go. And here we go, Madabi himself. Now in the West we actually saw a different color of Madabi. So. The Japan one, however, this is the official Japan one, a Japanese one, so not quite sure why we got a different one, but eh, here we go. Still very cool. Moving on to, uh, what's it called? Um, Assault Tyranno. I'm not quite sure if we got to see this one in the West, uh, but he, he is a very, no, he's like one of the Metabots from the Select Corps, so that's why he looks so familiar. And then, I like this one a lot. This is number 76. Uh, 67 premium 2k not sure what happened to 1k but it's uh, 2k and then don't tell don't don't think this is Rukushu this one is Dorcas uh, and yeah, pretty damn cool card holographic as well absolutely wonderful absolutely wonderful moving on number 74 vapor rail so this like uh, yeah it's look it's like a locomotive Hope you guys can make that out, but yeah, looks pretty neat. <laughs> From a support motherboard, I guess. Um, this is what's it called? Riza. Okay, very simple name, Riza. But still pretty neat. And now we. <laughs> 91, Royal Mate. Uh, oh, yeah, it's yeah, it's a mate, you can see that. But it's like she's playing tennis or something, I'm not quite sure. Maybe that's to put your cup of tea in, who knows? Could be both. Number 92, she's got some lily pads here, and her name is Primy Lotus. Well, I guess it's a lotus flower. Again, a holographic card. And just like with the English, uh, English cards, I'm not quite sure which ones are supposed to, or like why some of them are a holographics, like why Metabee isn't, for instance. Mega Emperor is, but he's quite important. So. But these are from the first Metarot games, the Japanese ones, so maybe they play some kind of role there. I never played them, so. Anyway, moving on, this is Mega Moon. No. We've got Mega Neptune as well, which we saw in the English uh, packs that I opened. And there's actually more to them. So this is Mega Moon. We've got a couple more here. This is Mega Uranus. And there we go, Uranus. Do you like Uranus? I think Uranus is pretty neat. <laughs> Stupid joke. Um, Mega Neptune this is. Very cool. I kind. I actually have to say that I quite enjoy these cards. They're pretty neat. Pretty cool. All named after planets. And then we've got Sphinx. Not Sphinx. Not Sphinx. Yeah. Some sort of bird, I guess. I don't know. Moving on to Dia Idol. Mm hmm. There you go. Female Madbot. Madrot, rather, right now. By Bakun, which is uh. Yeah, it's a motorcycle. Look at that. It's actually a motorcycle. That's pretty funny. That is pretty damn funny. <laughs> oh, God. Great Kabuki, this one is. I'm quite sure what uh, that is. Hmm. Realized them, but no. Nah. Here we go. Hump Camel. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Some of these cards are so hilarious. And the names. The Hump Camel. That's just it's wonderful. Love it. <laughs> Absolutely love it. Going to number 120, Mega Meta Venus. So we just had other plants. Suddenly, I don't know why these one is, aren't stuck together. But here we go, Meta Venus, this one is. Moving on to 124, which is Set Stego, so a Stegosaurus dinosaur. Uh, and yeah, he looks pretty cool in my opinion. He's like, he's got the tractor bands there. Pretty cool card. Like a tank. Oh, speaking of, this one looks pretty tanky as well. His name is Danshi Ranger. So, yeah, okay. He's got like a lot of TV screens on his body. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Danguri. 
No clue what this is supposed to be. Really, yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know. Then we move on to land reach. He's got uh, long arms, so he can reach things, I guess. And now we get to shine seal. So this is a seal one. And yeah, I can see that. It looks pretty neat in my opinion. See metabot. It's pretty, pretty cool. More seal. <laughs> this one's funny. Niabok. A Niabok. So. Funny face. Love it. Oh yeah, this <laughs> axolotl. So this is just an axolot. A bit like Mudkip from Pokemon. He's an, an axolot as well. So yeah, I, I'm not quite sure how this one is able to fight or move. But uh, here you go. It exists. This one is pretty cool though. This is a sea catcher. So I guess this may be uh, like um, a a a sea metabot is like a counter against them as well, perhaps. Sea catcher. That's what I think then. Moving on to 143 is oil slider. Don't quite see any oil related goodies in there, but uh, all these slides amongst them. Uh, 145, which is old crap. That's right, old crap. That's the name, old crap. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what it's supposed to be. It's like a f I, th I fuck. It, I don't know. And now we come to uh, to these. Let me show you real quick. Um, just some pieces of, of paper. Uh, I don't read Japanese, so I think this is this kind of explains the the amount of cards and the rarity. This is like uh, super partner rule, so how the game itself works, there's more on the back, so this explains everything, the name, the stats. Um, here is like a little checklist, so this this is here, like number 34, that's uh, Mega Emperor or God Emperor in Japanese. So these are the holographics, then 14, I don't know, they're like, see, 4, 3, 2, 1. I really have no clue what any of this means, and same with the, the character cards, we'll, which we'll have a look at right now. So yeah, I I, I really don't know what all of this means. Hmm. Here we have the uh, the one of the decks. I guess this is from the the first series because Icky and the second Meta B basically aren't in this one. And then some more about the the actual games as well, which actually come with some of the cards as well in Japan, so that's pretty cool. And then some manga as well, so. Anyways, moving on to the character cards, and most characters we'll see are from the, the second season of Metabots, which I actually haven't seen myself because I wasn't really intrigued by it, to be honest, but, um, you know, we'll cover them straight away. I mean, I have seen some of the faces, uh, those who have seen it will probably recognize these guys as well. But anyway, we start off with Kokuyu, or Cam in English, uh, from, that's what he's known in, in the, uh, the anime, apparently, Cam. Moving on to uh, to Patty. Not quite sure what her name is in English. Maybe it or or in Japanese. I mean, Patty. Now we've got Cho, which is from uh, the uh, Os um, the USA team from the championship. So that's pretty cool with the Wick memo. Then we've got Iki's mother, who actually is called Shidori. That's something I found out as well. Didn't know she had a name, but uh, there you go. Now we've got someone else from the second series who is Yuzuru. Uzuru, who he is, uh, he's called, I believe. And he's like the, the mysterious meta fighter that's like his alter ego. Basically, like Henry and uh, the Phantom Renegade in the first series. Yeah. Someone from the, the first season again. This is uh, Mrs. Karasumi, or what's, what's her name in some, something fishy related in the English translation. She's the one that uh, has a affair with Sea Slug from the Robo Robo Gang. Here we go. The Select Corpse. Salty the Dog. <laughs> uh, okay, another one here. This is Ginkai from the second generation of as well, second series. Uh, and now we have this guy, which is a fish alien. And I honestly, I I have no name for this one. I have no clue. <laughs> I have no clue what this one is called. Uh, Anyway, we move on to uh, to the father of Iki. I don't know if he's got a name. I haven't found one, like Shidori from uh, for his mother. So we'll just call him Daddy. Right, that's it. Yeah. Now this one is pretty funny. This is the chick seller. So this is the one that always comes up with like, oh, if Iki is feeling down, he's like suddenly there, like, you know, these chickens, they don't often feel good. 
but one day they will go grow big and strong. And then he's trying to sell them, but he's not for selling any chickens. Nobody wants them. Poor man. Here we go. This is Yuzuru uh, we saw earlier, but this time as the mystery meta fighter, basically. Hollow call as well. Pretty cool. Then we've got a guy I've never seen before. I don't have a name for him either. But, uh, yeah, I like this jacket. It's very bright. I like my future. Belmont from Team Iceland in the championship, who Erika or Erika has a crush on, so it's pretty cool. Again, someone from the second gen, it's uh, Minitora, one of the evil guys. Um, <laughs> this is the witch from uh, the Metabot RPG game, which we also saw here in the West, actually. We saw this one. So, I don't know if what she's called, I'll just call her the witch, because, yeah, that's all I know. <laughs> This one is actually uh, from, they kind of teamed up in the anime apparently, and his name is, uh, what's his name, Kintura? Oh god, yeah, Kintura. I love his face, he looks beautiful. <laughs> oh, I actually missed two, these are uh, supposed to go like this, crap. Anyway, we've got Patra from Team uh, Egypt, who uses Cleo Butler, uh, Cleo Butler, sorry, Cleo Butler. So, very cool. First Chan as well from the, uh, the, the Metabolt World Cup. And then finally we've got Wakawa or Susie as she is known here in the West. So, uh, And that is it. So a couple of characters that we know uh, but most new cards or cards from the second series a lot of them as well so which as I said I've never seen but for those of you who have watched it I'm sure that you do recognize them. Now, uh, as I said, the first series of cards from the from this set, uh, I don't have any of them, unfortunately. I do hope that one day I will be able to obtain them, but um, most cards that we actually got here in the West are from that set. So, uh, but unfortunately, I'm not able to show you because I do not own them. So, so I suppose the West here as well was trying to, you know, if it was possible, get these cards the second run. Uh, and we would have seen many, many more of these, um, such as Mega Emperor, would have probably been a holographic in the English release as well. Who knows, a second meta be perhaps, uh, some of these character cards. So. Very unfortunate, but uh, it is what it is, I'm afraid. So, yeah. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed it, nonetheless. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, a comment, and subscribe. And we will see each other in a new video. Bye bye!